Welcome students. In this video, we're going to teach you everything that you need to know to understand the different types of cloud computing services. Nowadays, if you own or work for an organization, there's a good chance that the infrastructure is on the cloud because more than 94% of enterprises use cloud services, increasing the value of the global cloud computing market to over $371 billion, which is expected to grow at an annual growth rate of 19.1% as of 2021. When looking for a cloud service, You'll find various acronyms and buzzwords that may not make sense at first glance. The main terms you'll come across, which we will be covering in this video, are IAAS, PAAS, and SAAS. Let's break these terms down, shall we? Let's first start with the term on-premise. The term on-premise essentially means that an organization is going to be self-hosting their corporate assets inside their own company building or data center. This means that the business has no reliance on any cloud services and is 100% fully maintained by the organization itself. Essential services like email servers, file sharing, and employee directory would be maintained in-house within the company building. This is what is considered an on-premise deployment and as you may expect, it can be a lot of work to maintain. Now to solidify the on-premise deployment concept, we can compare the model to a real life example. Let's envision this scenario with pizza. Let's suppose that you're looking to eat homemade pizza for dinner. Well, that sure does sound tasty. Although, homemade pizza requires you to buy all the ingredients. And you must provide a dining table for yourself to eat on. On top of that, you also have to cook and bake the pizza. Now that's a lot of work for a simple pizza dinner. This scenario represents the on-premise model, as everything has to be deployed and maintained by the organization in their own respective building. Now that you understand on-premise deployment, let's discuss our first cloud model known as IaaS, which stands for Infrastructure as a Service. Infrastructure as a Service is a pay-as-you-go service where a third-party provider like Amazon Web Services or Google Cloud provides you with infrastructure services like storage, virtualization, and servers as you need them. These services can be managed via the internet. Essentially, Infrastructure as a Service gives users cloud-based alternatives to on-premise infrastructure, so businesses can avoid investing in expensive on-site hardware resources like servers. To use this service, you don't have to maintain or update your on-site data center, because the cloud provider does it all for you under the hood. But you access and control the cloud infrastructure via an API, which is an application programming interface, or a dashboard, more formally known as a management console. In this console, you can control and maintain all the cloud services and assets which your organization owns. Some of the advantages of the infrastructure as a service model are its high flexibility and scalability. This is because the cloud provider data centers are enormous and they're rapidly expanding daily. The sky's the limit when it comes to handling lots of load on the servers with a cloud provider. Another advantage of infrastructure as a service is that it is accessible by multiple users. Since all services are controlled via one management console over the internet, you can invite team members from all over the globe to help manage the organization deployment. Lastly, it's also extremely cost effective. This is because, as we mentioned earlier, it is a pay-as-you-go service. There's no need to pay for large servers and equipment when you don't even need them. You only pay for what you need, therefore saving the organization money in the long run. Some well-known infrastructure as a service providers are Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, DigitalOcean, and the Google Cloud Platform. Similarly to an on-premise deployment, we can also visualize a real-life scenario of infrastructure as a service. So now you've come to a conclusion that the on-premise model from before is a bit too time-consuming. Therefore, you have a new plan. This time, you're going to be heading to the store to grab a take-and-bake pizza. The pizza is partially prepared for you, although you still have to provide the dinner table and you have to bake the pizza. The only step we eliminated was the effort of the cooking and preparation, as the ingredients of the pizza were already provided to us. This represents the infrastructure as a service model, as the underlying servers, storage, compute, and network from the cloud provider are already provided for the organization to use. All the organization have to do is deploy company services, secure the deployment, and bring the company data to the cloud. Now that you understand how the infrastructure as a service model works, let's move on to platform as a service. The second type of cloud computing service is platform as a service, or PaaS for short, which not only provides the hardware and the software hosted on its own infrastructure, 
It also delivers a platform to the user as an integrated solution through an internet connection. This service provides an environment for developers to quickly write and deploy code, as well as building and maintaining their apps without the headaches of software updates or hardware maintenance. For example, we have Amazon, which is primarily a platform as a service model. They provide a platform for buyers and sellers to conveniently communicate and exchange physical and digital merchandise over their payment and shipping infrastructure. Amazon is a prime example of how the platform as a service model works. Platform as a service is a popular choice for businesses who want to create unique applications without spending a fortune or taking on all the responsibility. Also, by using a platform as a service provider, you can focus on your content or product rather than the software underneath it. Some of the platform as a service advantages are its accessibility by multiple users. It's also heavily scalable, so you can choose from various tiers of resources to suit the size of your organization. It's also quite easy to run without any extensive system administration knowledge. Some well-known platform as a service providers are the AWS Elastic Beanstalk, Heroku, and the Google App Engine. Before we continue, let's visualize our pizza scenario with the platform as a service model. You're now feeling too tired and don't really feel like baking. So therefore, you will now call a pizza restaurant and place an order. You will get a pizza and a drink delivered to your house. All you need to have now is a dining table since the pizza is already baked. This represents the platform as a service model as all the underlying and primary components are provided, such as servers, storage, compute, security, and databases. The only asset the company has to bring along now is their corporate data. Let's now discuss the final cloud model as software as a service. SaaS, or software as a service, which is also known as cloud application services, is the most comprehensive form of cloud computing services and the one that you might be interacting with the most in your daily life, delivering an entire application that is managed by a provider. Software updates, bug fixes, and general software maintenance are handled by the provider, and the user connects to the app via a dashboard or API. With software as a service, you don't need to install and run software applications on your computer. Instead, you can access them via your web browser. You will be familiar with forms of software as a service if you have an email account with a web-based service like Gmail or Outlook. You can log into your account and get your email from any computer anywhere. Some software as a service advantages are its availability over the internet. It's also hosted on a remote server by a third-party provider. It's highly scalable with different tiers for small, medium, and enterprise level business. And it's also highly inclusive, which offers security, compliance, and maintenance as part of the cost. Dropbox, Salesforce, and Google Apps are some famous software as a service examples. And now finally, to represent the software as a service model, let's visualize our pizza scenario. You can now go to the nearest pizza restaurant to your home and dine in. This is the simplest model because everything is already provided, a dining table, a drink, and the pizza itself. This represents the software as a service model, which provides all the underlying hardware, management software, security services, applications, and the company data ready to go. In conclusion, there are many cloud computing service models which exist with varying levels of complexity. The level of reliance on the organization decreases as you go down the list of models in this order. on premise infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. We hope that this video has helped you in understanding the differences and use cases between the different cloud computing models.